Well, it just shows she's able to turn defense into attack. That is. Took it early, didn't she? Due to meet in the semi finals if they get through there. Apologies, they are meeting in the quarterfinals for a place in the semi final. Again on the forehand already. <laughs> early winners and early warning signs. <laughs> such confidence and a fair amount of style too. So not a chance, not a half chance, but maybe a quarter chance here. Makes the break at the net, softened her up on both sides, and the coup de grace came with the volley at the net. Okay, man. Mistakes keep on flowing. Well, she was right in the set when suddenly Rebecca turned seven. the screw, having gone a breakdown. Yeah, this has dropped this week in our fourth match here. She played so well up until 4-3 to get that break. Both players finding the lines. Almost certainly the match right here, you would think, at this point. Got there in the end. The must win point, and she did. Good rally. I don't quite know how Rubakina managed to stay in that point. Just moved side to side, even on this last one, still almost on the point. Dealt with that backhand high volley so well. Right, just a little bit of confidence in that Edmonton. last point, maybe. Edmonton. Had the courage of her convictions, didn't she? Didn't hold back. Saved match point against Adossa in the previous round. Now has the fourth match point here. Okay. This time it is good enough. The Queen of the Desert is still alive in Miami and maybe getting better and better, but still not in top gear yet. She took three sets in her first two matches, straight sets today, but there's clearly more to come from the Indian Welsh champion. But she gets the job done, four and three against Elisa Merton. I think there'll be an element of relief, won't there, in the Rebecca camp didn't bring her best tennis out onto the court today.